Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. This is step four in the construction of the X-15, and this is where we're going to glue the centering rings on the engine mount tube. We're going to put the back ring on first, and the back ring is approximately one half of an inch from the end of the tube. Right about there. So that one's going to be glued on here. And then the front one is going to be glued flush. You don't have to make it flush. You can use leave a little bit of room for a fillet if you want to. That's perfectly fine. It's not that critical. <coughs> Excuse me. I was eating peanuts. <laughs> Don't talk. Until the glue go until the glue grabs, it's kind of hard to make a fillet, but you can try your best. Okay, I'm just going to watch that for a few minutes to make sure that it's um, nice and parallel or, or perpendicular. All right, so we're going to set this aside and you can work ahead into the next part, which is putting together the baffle while you're waiting for this glue to dry. The glue is now dry on the engine mount tube. I put fillets on so there's nice glue all the way around. Now this is going to be glued into the aft tube and you can tell the aft tube because it has a lot of etching on it and it's the longer of the two big tubes. Uh, when it gets glued in, it's going to be about one inch inside the tube. And the reason for this is I want to move the center of gravity as far forward as possible. Remember this rocket with these big fins, the center of pressure has moved pretty far forward as well. So we need to keep that center of gravity even further forward. So we're trying to push all the weight towards the nose and that's why we're recessing the engine mount tube inside of this. So like I said, this is going to be about an, an inch inside. So you can mark it if you want. You can eyeball it. That's fine too. So there's my mark inside. I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to put two lines of glue in here. One is going to be pretty deep inside. And if you want, you can use a dowel. Um, if you use a dowel, um, if you've seen my other videos, keep the dowel rotating because if you don't, the glue is going to drip onto your table. Um, and I'm going to probably want to do this a couple of times. Make sure that line of glue is all the way around the perimeter inside of there. We're going to be able to come back and put a fillet on here anyway, so it's not like it's super urgent. Uh, because this tube is so short, I can actually get in from the front side to put a fillet on. Normally you can't. Um, and then we're going to put the other line of glue just behind our original line that we drew in there. As we put the rings in, it's going to slide everything forward. So I don't want to slide these rings in perfectly straight like this. I want to kind of go in at an angle, go beyond the glue. So I'm leaving most of the glue in the back. 
and it's going to go through that second line of glue to pick up its glue on the front. And I can feel it going in. I can feel it that glue kind of lubricating it a little bit. All right, right about there. You can see my line right there. And then I'm going to come in and put a glue fillet here. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. And then on this end, I can also get down in there and put a glue fillet in. This time, I, I, my finger's not long enough, so I'm going to use a wood dowel to spread it around. Try to keep the glue um, out of there because we're going to be gluing this in later. We don't want any lumps in there. That's going to make it hard to glue in. So I'm going to use a flat side of this um, dowel and spread it around. You know, you might want to make it even so it dries pretty consistently. All right. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry completely and uh, we're going to go on and continue with the rest of the rocket while this dries and we can come back and uh, actually the next step for this tube is to glue it together with the other tube along with the baffle. But I haven't completed my baffle yet, so I'll be right back. Um, and when you see this tube again, the baffle will be done. <laughs> <laughs> 